And we are off uh, for another ride. This is the beginning of another scooter, uh, another road vlog. Uh, it is uh, uh, June 10th. It's around uh, between 4:30 and 5 o'clock uh, in the afternoon or p.m. And we're hanging off uh, with some new uh, features, but the features won't be working until tonight. Uh, I've got an extra headlight now. I've got the, the second that I ordered came in, along with the ear pods. So, uh, but I'm waiting for the second pair of ear pods, which will, will probably come tomorrow. Uh, those are the ones I'm going to be using for the scooter. It was a lot cooler out today because there was a breeze. So I brought a jacket with me because I know sometimes uh, in the evening things are cooling off significantly. And when you're on the scooter, there's a wind anyway, so. So that's why it's not bad on the scooter even when it's hot out because you've got a wind uh, that cools you down. Uh, sort of underscore this to sort of prove it. All you have to do is uh, uh, roll the window down and, uh, in your car and stick your hand out the car while you're moving. You don't have to go at highway speed, but just even, even on the side streets, you'll notice that there's always a wind. And then when you're on a scooter or on a motorcycle, this is what you always feel. So it does indeed cool you off just by moving. It's uh, something often known as the wind chill effect. Anyways, uh, I got work done on my notebook, so the project on Voltaire and um, Lion LeBron will go ahead. Uh, they had been stalled for a couple of days just because uh, I needed to get my notebook organized. Notebooks are key to this particular thing. And the, organiza the organization of the notebook is important. The thing is, you, I have more than one notebook. It, it, uh, basically, I put Per project, I put one note, one notebook, and you have many different uh, chapters and uh, sub chapters, and and even sometimes books, notebooks will link to the will link to each other. It really depends on on how uh, the various different link linkages, the various different factors line up, and now you have, so that you have good cross references. And these cross references uh, that, in many cases, you may end up finding significant initially weren't seen to be significant. That you could sort of realize a connection maybe many years from now. So this is why a, a good notebook is, is a, a notebook. A good notebook is something is something that's a necessity. You have to have a good notebook in order to do good research. And so it does take a couple days to sort of figure that out in terms of uh, how you want to structure it, how you want to organize it, and then the research continues from there on out. And it's not that the, the mind doesn't stop working, and of course, these blogs are part of the notes. This is our note system. So as you're listening to this, you're listening to my notes. That's why sometimes they're kind of uh, disjointed, they're not necessarily... Uh, as coherent as they could be because of all these are notes. These are point forms. Sometimes I'll do an entire essay in here, but uh, very rarely. They're just points that we sort of expand on. And it really depends on the expansion of the point, how much there is to say. That will kind of determine what, uh, what I say and how much I say. Bus. So I'm going to slow down a little bit, let the guy over. I know he's going to get over because you don't want to get over to the right lane. There you go.
myself enough room, enough distance to allow uh, one bus to stop and another bus to go. Okay, and stop. So I'm just going to let this guy go. So I'm going to stop a little behind the bus. And I got to find a way to keep my uh, my glove from turning the mirror. It's a little close to the uh, where my hand is. <clears throat> and so it ends up turning the mirror. A little wobbly on my legs today. But uh, that's all right. The tea's working well, everything seems to be progressing, so it's just a matter now of continuing forward. silent portion of the trip. No more notes. Right now I just kind of bizarre feeling that this is the altered states issue where you flash back to certain times and periods in your life. But particularly because I grew up in this neighborhood. This is the school I went to uh, in junior high. There are definitely uh, certain memories that are associated with it. enough of a mirror that I can actually see 
the to my immediate right, I just don't have enough of a peripheral in the rear that uh, in the back of me that uh, uh, that I'd like. So it's gonna take some time to adjust the uh, the mirror and sort of get it exactly right. <laughs> Whenever there's a problem, there's typically a hack or a workaround that you can that you can do to sort of alleviate the problem. It's just a matter of finding it. Like most of the, most of the scooter, the way the scooter work right now, is a hack. The seats didn't the seat didn't come with the seat post. The seat post that initially came that, that sort of attaches to the seat. Uh, wasn't very good, so I got another one. It's a single clamp system rather than the dual count clamp system. Much easier. second headlamp makes things a lot brighter. Well, I do have a much better uh, sort of illumination on the headlamp thing. I haven't fixed up the rear light yet. Uh, there's an issue back there, but then again, uh, I'll be looking at another solution that will resolve that issue. So, uh, there's always things to do. So workarounds take time. They're not always the easiest thing to do. Uh, but in the end, they do work. Uh, it's the goal is initially functionality, and then you work on it to slightly improve it, bit by bit. Anyway, it's uh, still June tenth, about uh, ten thirty in the evening. About uh, 22 hours and 30 minutes into the day, and we're heading home. And I got some more work done on the notebook. I uh, got some uh, ways of sort of bringing in uh, more information uh, in terms of uh, getting better uh, sort of research use out of the desk, a research desk. So I've got a lot more space on it now. Adjust that mirror there, there we go. I ordered a new set of mirrors, Let's hope it makes a difference. But we'll see what happens when they come. There's not a lot of room on the handlebars, but uh, we'll see whether or not we can find a place for them to fit. If not, then uh, well, at least we tried. So. It's cool enough that I need a jacket out, so on the way back now, the wind is uh, sufficient that I need a jacket. Before I came with short sleeves during the day, so things have cooled off. I've got to check the satellite to see what's going on with the sun. traffic on the right than anticipated. Doesn't seem to be a break. No. So I'll have traffic on both the left and the right. No. Not enough space. We're coming up with another space on the left. Okay, it's 
face on the right. Let's let these cars go. There we go. We're done. We're off. Back on the road again. So. <laughs> Definitely going to be an interesting ride home. There's not much to talk about in an in-between uh, situation where you're simply just doing uh, work to get to the next point. Um, there's not a lot of excitement except for the mundane work, the work that has to be done on a daily basis. And I think it's, the, it's, it's going through the mundane, getting through the mundane that allows you to get to the next bigger point. And this is what, you know, people say, well, why don't I live my dreams? And that's because the mundane work required to get your dreams, to get to your dreams, hasn't been done and you don't want to do the work, so you never uh, get to the uh, point that you want to get to or the, the, the dreams you want to get to simply because you just didn't want to do the work. And then it's these stuff that you think is typically stupid, but it still nonetheless has to be done. the thing with Lionel Ron, you see, he's got, a, he's got a show to do every day. He's got to keep people sort of entertained. And on days like today, and there can be a lot of them, uh, how do you keep people entertained with something that's uh, not necessarily so exciting as, the, you know, to do them on days, sort of getting the work done, getting the information out. It's because it takes a, once you get a bit of information out, you gotta see how long it takes for, for people to sort of catch on to the ideas. And how long does it take to spread something out? Typically, I find uh, when I post something to Instagram or even to Twitter, uh, the concept takes about a month to two months to get out there. So, in terms of your overall goal, you're working on a time frame of a month to two months. So, you're looking at things on a monthly basis. And that could be daunting to sit there and wait for a month doing the mundane, trying to get to the next point. That was an accident waiting to happen. You always have to leave room just in case something happens. That's why you never fall right behind somebody on their tail. But a lot of people, they're anxious, they want to get to where they're going, and they're not going to sit there and wait, and so they try to go as fast as they can, they, and when they can, they, they go up as close to the bumper as they possibly can to this car, and then they try to pass, and well, that's how an accident happens. This is here at a re recent uh, motorcycle accident. And typically, you talk about a motor accident, I got a newspaper, you're blaming, they're blaming the car. But they haven't seen the drivers racing in and out. Well, there was this one incident, I think it was about a week ago, where they were driving along, 
weaving in and out of traffic at a very high speed. Something happened, they had to stop short, and then it was sort of an accident. And there was a girl on the back who just went flying. It doesn't matter what type of protect protective gear you're wearing. If you're thrown from the from the bike or whatever you're riding, like a, like, like you're on a catapult, uh, good luck. Because I don't think I don't think you, that you're going to survive that. I mean, I have a friend who, who, who drives, a, you know, these sports bikes, he likes the sports bikes. And he pretends he's racing on the streets when he's riding it. The problem is, he got, he's, he got into a, 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 with his gear on, he got into an accident, slid up on the ground, and then spent the next four months in hospital uh, replacing his skin. With graft after graft, you know. And then his hospital stay was a great pain. You cannot state that he enjoyed what happened in the hospital. Yet, once he was able to ride again, same thing, he drives the same way. I've been in the car with him. He drives the same way. Very aggressive. I mean, sometimes you need to put that aggressiveness aside and sort of, or at least focus, refocus it and use it for something else. But this guy didn't do that and still doesn't do it. And it causes him pain, both physical and mental. Because he can't let go of things. So he sits and agonizes over decisions that he could have made. He just did it instead of making a decision, going with it, and dealing with the consequences as they come along, uh, he agonizes and waits and in the end it ends up being too long and well